Hi, this is Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com, and I have Russie here with the HOA Blues. Hey, Russie. What's going on now? You got another letter in the mail besides the last one? Yes. Good, good, good morning, my friends. This was the uh, adopted August 20th, 2012, all the new rules and regulations about fine, which we talked about last time. And then they forgot to put in the mail, and it's really weird to read it. Stone Ridge 2 um, Village is a unique residential development. And it goes on and on how special the Stone Ridge 2 is, and it talks about the guidelines. Okay? Okay. What is interesting about it is the um, people that are on the Stone Ridge um, Architecture Control Committee, control you see it's called, committee, are two of the original people that originally moved in here. Ten that, years ago. Yeah, that, 12 years ago now. That wanted to, I've been here 10 years, that wanted to develop certain types of people coming here, certain this, that, and the other. Uh -huh. They're still on this committee all since then. I've been on the board twice, and I've tried to get them off, and I never have had the vote. They're on there, and the third one, they're all in cahoots to uh, really give you a bad time if they don't like you. Really? So what does it say in there? That, that What does the architectural say? What does okay. it say? Whereas the government documents of our association provides individual lot owners to perform improvements on their property. Whereas um, the government documents provide these improvements subject to the architectural control approval. Uh, the changes apply only to buildings and decorative colors. Changes do not vary from design guidelines. The changes apply to landscaping alterations and do not vary from design guidelines. Um, $120 check is to be sent in um, when you um, ask for um, architectural review. Okay, here is the form you have to fill out. Description of project. Um, your phone number, your lot number, etc. Fill out the following form and send it to, to them with the blueprints, the sketches, project with full dimensions and triplicate, or any additional information that will help the committee. So do you think if you just want to plant a tree, you have to do that? Anything, anything, anything more or less they want you to. This is what I want to talk about is that a lot of people do things all the time. Right, and you plant a tree. <laughs> and, and talk to me and say, hey Russ, you're on the board. I want to put a solar system. What, do I need to bring it to the board? And I say, yeah. If you don't bring it to the board, they'll be naughty. They can't disapprove it because uh, um, California law allows you to, to do, do solar. And it overrides a board. But it does say the board has a right to help guide where in the house it can be put. Okay? And so m my neighbor says, um, the, the, he's a professor. Right? right? A lot of mine are professors. And my professors use language um, that... I won't repeat on here, and they say they're going to do as they want, and they do as they want. And so the board will pick and bother people that um, aren't conforming, that, that aren't, they don't have some of that status of being a professor. They're, they're not going I to see. take on okay. a professor. All right? right. They'll take on a gardener like myself, and they'll take on an elderly lady across the street, and this, that, or the other. But the professors will come right up to them and will wring their neck. Yeah, because they're educated and they'll pull and out the law or whatever they need to pull out to, to yeah. battle the situation and say, no. <laughs> and uh, I've, I've heard the professor say, bub, you better leave me alone. You know, right uh -huh. to a board member that's sticking their knife in all of us. Uh-huh. But otherwise, they basically control, and if you do want to plant a tree, then they're going to, it's going to cost you an additional $120 besides the cost of the tree, and that's if they approve it. <laughs> and they'll make which you take a little ridiculous, tree out. which is a little ridiculous. Yep. And um, little is a lot ridiculous. And I can see if you're doing a whole landscape job. Yeah, I can see that. You know, pass it by if, if you have a restriction on the whole neighborhood. Yeah, pass it by if it's, it's, if it's a whole nine yard, a whole redo landscape. But if it's planting a tree or putting some pots in your, in your skirt of your driveway to put some vegetables in there to have an outside garden like that, it's a little out of whack, I think. You can't do it without their permission. And the uh, first um, violation letter, they give you a warning. The second, they charge you $50 for. The third, they charge you 100 And the fourth, uh, they charge you $200. Okay, so I wonder if you do all this and you don't go through them, will they fine you this, say, $50, $100, $200? And if you don't pay it, what happens? Do you know? They'll put an attachment on your house. 
Okay, they'll attach your house, put a judgment or a lien or what? Yep, and they'll also go the ni extra nine yards to um, um, keep charging you. Oh, so then they'll build up that, and then they're worse. Yep. They're they're just like IRS. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> So your HOA and your architectural control has just as much control as IRS. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> oh, my. It's time to move out of the country, don't you think? <laughs> no. Nope. Here's what they'll do. For each length of time that the violation remains uncured, the fine shall increase in accordance with the table of fines below. In correction of all fines, accumulate interest paid upon. Interest on all unfined uh, unpaid fines will occur at 1% per month. Should court action result from the homeowner's failure, attorney's fees will be borne by the homeowner. All accumulation of fines and interest may be recovered by Stone Ridge Village upon sale of the subject pro property at closure. Yes. The association as discretion may seek other remedies at, in court of law. Yeah, so HOA is precedence of the first deed of trust in all, in all cases and everywhere you are, So, which is unusual, but it's true, and so is IRS. So they have a lot of clout. They, they position themselves, basically the, the towns have positioned themselves, they have the, um, when they do developments, that the developers have to put an HOA in place in order to control the people stronger than they already are, controlled by the government um, codes and permits and stuff like that. They make an additional codes and permits within the HOA, so it's double watched, double whammied, and double dipped. <laughs> <laughs> it's yep. ridiculous, and, and so you have your million-dollar house, or if it's a, it's a, a three hundred thousand-dollar fixer-upper. Um, um, if you have an HOA, again, read, 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 and talk to who's on that board. I think because that before you buy, read and talk to who's on that board or what's going on. If there's any assessments, and read those minutes to make sure that um, there's no arguments and. Will they even put it in there? From what I can tell, they don't have to. They just kind of make all that secret and hum hum. I guess the best thing to do is talk to the neighbors, see what's going on. And if you want to replace a window or something, you have to get permission, you know, and people that replace their windows without permission um, will get fined. And Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's a little out of whack because if you own your own home, now I can see a condo because everything, everything has to be consistent, but you own your own home. Um, An umbrella. You know, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you want to have it consistent? Of course, you're going to make it consistent and make everything yep. good because um, that's why you're making the improvement in the first place. Yep. But to have someone um, boss you around in every move you make, um, why bother owning? You got a next door here. Got an Might as well have someone, a renter, a landlord, telling you if you can put an umbrella up or not. Yeah, or, yeah he I had mean, to get permission. Yeah, it's crazy. And he wanted to know what color it was, yeah, where crazy. it was going to be put, and how big it was. It's crazy. And he got permission to do all that, and he got the umbrella. And it cost him one hundred and twenty dollars to do so. The umbrella cost him fifty. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com. Thanks, Parvin. You're welcome. All right, ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.